Hello, my name is Dylan, and welcome to Booster National Playthrough Forza Horizon Part 8. Um, today we're going to start off by uh, getting this barn find. Uh, I forget what it is, um, but uh, in case you're wondering, uh, I'll just show it to you on the map quickly. Um, it's right by here, just opposite this uh, Horizon outpost, and uh, we're going to do this event and go over here, um, I think, to uh, get the other um, barn find. Um, I don't think we'll be able to make the uh, showcase if we're doing the barn find as well. So we'll probably do both of those and uh, then just uh, head down here for the next episode. Uh, green wristbands lasting a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, yeah, this current rate. Um, right, what, uh, right, that's a 300 SL. Oh, man. I like it a lot more here, how the garage door's wide open so you can see. And I'm sure you'll agree, she is one of the most beautiful cars ever made. It's going to be a real pleasure restoring her to her former glory. And when I'm finished, you will have one of the most collectible cars in the world. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay, so now it's just the wait time. I have no idea how long it takes. Um... So I'll keep an eye on it. Um, video at the moment, uh, I've been recording for 1 minute 55 uh, seconds. Uh, of course, I'm going to cut out a bit at the beginning from the mistakes I made during the intro because that happens occasionally. Uh, nope. Okay, right, so. We're now going to get in the RS500, and uh, we use that for the final event, I think. Um, just sort of, um, sort of reusing the same car, using them equal amounts. Uh, you know, um, I don't think there's a point in just buying a new A-Class car for every event, but at the same time, uh, I kind of don't want to use the Evo over and over again, and I only use the RS500 uh, once so far. Okay, right, so it's going up against some pretty fast cars there. Um, I'd say it's most like the uh, Lotus. He said something about going down Avenue with lo no lights on. There's a TVR. Um, yeah, the Sagaris um, 370Z, which is probably along with me that one of the most upgraded cars. Actually, I don't think it'd be that upgraded. Uh, that was Diablo. Um, I believe it's the rear-wheel drive version in this game, but um, there is an all-wheel drive Diablo. That is a thing. Um, uh, okay, right. Um, I'm not sure why uh, how it is in the uh, GT500. Um, I know it kind of makes sense for him to reuse the same cars, considering they're in the same class. Um, I'm not sure though. Uh, who knows? Uh, anyway, right. So. We've got the 370 behind us, along with the uh, Sagaris and the uh, Diablo. Uh, and of course, the uh, guy with the Japanese name is driving the Japanese car. Because why wouldn't he? Um, I think the Evo probably would have been a better choice for this, considering it's more about top speed here than cornering speed. Because this car can carries so much cornering speed it's insane um he's in first place um i forget oh, what's he driving that's lotus okay yeah. uh, this is kind of what i call the main rival here low powered but um good handling cars um uh, it seems to be that i'm obliterating him um yeah um uh, uh, I'm not really sure what to say. I'm mean, I'm destroying him. I I know I've dropped the uh, difficulty a bit um, because of it, but I I know I don't think I would have won if I didn't. Um, this last time, I'm still not sure about the difficulty. Um, but I think I prefer it like this. Um, slightly lower difficulty, but less editing. I can make points um, a lot easier, a lot better. I think it makes a lot more. Uh, interesting video. You guys. 
Right. Nope. Not gonna move up here yet. Sierra Cosworth badge. Um. Yeah, sure, we'll stay in it for free green. Even though we're about to drive down a dirt road um, to get to it, uh, to the barn find. Um, actually, this video hasn't been going on for as long as I thought it was. Um, what was I expecting, actually? Um, three minute long road. Uh, probably. You know what? We might be able to get away with all the barn finds the showcase events. Actually, we might just have a couple of. Sh uh, um, uh, videos alone just for the showcase event, so uh, anyway, I'm gonna go get this barn. I will jump cut, uh, yeah, and um, then I'll go and get the other barn find, and um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get the other barn find and then race Ali. So, see you in a second, right? Okay, here we are now. Uh, just turned up, um, that looks like a BMW 1M. Um, M1 actually isn't it, the 1M's, the uh, hatchback or coupe uh, thing. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, meanwhile while I was doing it, I uh, got a bonus board, 22% off uh, upgrades now, and uh, the uh, Mercedes restored, so it takes about 5 minutes, um, or it takes exactly 5 minutes. Right, let's get the 1M. One of the rarest BMWs ever produced, the M1. Boy, is she a looker. Give me some time, and she'll look like she just rolled out of the showroom. Okay, good. Um. Anyway, right. Uh, I'm gonna jump. Uh, this is a race for minis, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're not gonna do the. Um, Oh, um, okay, right, so I'm going to first travel on to here, and um, in a minute I'll be um, down to the uh, uh, the next uh, barn find. Okay, here we are now, uh, here's the barn, at least I think it is, um, I hope it is. Um, I, uh, I don't think I showed where the uh, last one was on the map, uh, basically it's Dennis Dirt Road, uh, down by here, it's really easy to miss. Uh, there's also a bonus board down by the dam. So, it's a good idea to keep on going. It's a lot easier to find the barn going the other way anyway. Um, right, um... Stay left now so I can see what's inside of it. Um, turns out this is just going to be a random barn. Right, that's a CUDA. Give me the Hemi CUDA. She needs a little attention, but... Thank God I'm here to give it to her. This Mopar fan favorite is a 1971 Hemi Cuda. Yeah, that's a 426 Hemi under the hood, and it's good for 425 horses. She's a national institution, and I'm falling in love all over again. So, he's now restoring two cars at once. Um... Right, okay, uh, I'm going to set a waypoint down here, and in a minute I'll be down there. Yeah, um, I can, you can see on the map where uh, this is, it's basically right next to the Recaro Brush um, race. Um, okay, uh, be there in a second, I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, here we are, the uh, 1v1 uh, Alley Howard. Right, so let's get to it. Um, what are we going to use? Um, well, uh, yeah, I said I was going to use the RS500. Um, yeah. Well, that's going to be cool now, having, a, uh, having another Dodge in our garage. Because, yeah, um, it isn't really a pink slip, this. It's more of a... If you win, I'll give you my car. It's sort of like how Midnight Club LA is half the time. There are sometimes some proper pink slip. But, um, but here there's no pink slip at all, so actually Midnight Club LA is a terrible comparison. Um, uh, well, sometimes Midnight Club LA has um, some... Uh, 
Cosmos would, um, you know, have some, um, uh, thingy, um, that, you know, has some, um, you know, uh, events where you, you can't lose your car. And there are, there is some proper pink slip. I don't know why that took me so long to say. It's sort of tongue tied. I mean, I think if you start talking for long enough, like I've been talking for well over an hour and a half now, uh, since I've recorded like four episodes back to back, and I'm going to take break now, and uh, and I'm going to film a bit of car comparisons uh, for fours of four, because fours of four, fours of six, uh, hmm, because that's quite fun. I've got a couple of ideas. Uh, one of them including rally cross, and the other one talking about how you should upgrade your car. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think they're quite interesting, but I would say that. I made the videos. Um, what was that? that I, even I think it was a full Taurus. Alright. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm doing terrible here. Um. Yeah, I may need the Hilo. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll be able to make my comeback now near the end. It doesn't matter if I lose anyway though, because I can't lose my car. I don't think this video might not be that long once I cut it down, because only now I've been recording for 20 minutes. Um, and then once I cut out all the stuff in between uh, me getting barn finds and stuff. Okay, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to cut this out because, again, I, I, well, as I said, uh, I think it's going to take too long. Uh, if I lose again, obviously I'll cut it out. Um, it's not the wheel spin, that, that was a terrible idea, I probably should have just, just stayed on the throttle. Yeah, I never liked this event. Um, yeah, um, this one in particular, like the one with uh, Ramona Cravash, it's quite cool one. At the same time, fairly easy, but um, I know I, I really quite like that event. Whereas this one over here, I know just the track in general, um, I mean, especially for A-class cars, it feels too short. Well, not short, but sort of too tight, narrow. It's all the opposite of how you want to be building up uh, A-class cars in this game. Um, I'm sure it's a cool twist, um, like you know, throw something at you that you're not expecting, but you know, I'm, I'm just not really, uh, I just don't enjoy this event as much. Of course now that I'm winning it's a bit more fun, but you know, I, it would be a good event in um, some slower cars, but yeah. Um, I mean, on both our parts, like he crashed into a wall, but I forgot how to clutch, um, oh, I just lost all grip coming over that grass. I assume I just lifted up just enough to take all full weight off the wheels. Is he going to figure out how to use reverse now? Please tell me you get stuck there. Please. If you get stuck there, I'm going to be so happy. Like, come on. I mean, well, he isn't catching up, but I wouldn't really expect him to. There's quite a big gap. Um, anyway, I think I've won here. Um, I mean, despite me making a couple of mistakes. Um, he's stuck. Yes. Oh, that's great. He can't figure out how to use reverse. Alright, <laughs> I've just realised something. Uh, when, I've, when I've been surprised about people using RS500s, I was thinking of the Ford Focus RS500. I've just realised that now. Um, yeah, I'm a genius for thinking that. Quite a little front camera on this car. Easy come, easy go. Treat her right, huh? Uh, right, I'm not going to get into it. Uh, what happened to the upgrades on it?
Um, no thank you. Uh, not gonna f get his bounty, fight him, whatever. I know. I don't know why fight was the first word that came into my mind. Um, anyway, um, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna end it off here. Um, yeah, if you've enjoyed, uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.